Welcome to Detox the Design Podcast. My name is Sanjay Reddy and I absolutely love conversations around design. In this conversation, I have Narayanan Rajagopalan with me today. He is the VP of Design at Homelane Interiors. He has had a wide range of experience. He has worked at different companies and now he looks after design at Homelane Interiors. Now Homelane has over 600 designers with them. Now that's an incredibly insane number of designers to manage now narayanan talks about what homelane does and how the understanding of the customer or the user is at the core of it it only underlines that empathizing with the user or your target audience or your target customer is super important for your business and for your design as well now in this conversation we talk about the smart catalog that they have at home lane and how they came to creating that smart catalog there are a lot of decisions that they had to take and everything was based on the user understanding the user and the behavior so it's a really interesting conversation and you would also see narayan and talk about what they look for in the designers now what should the designers be able to do to be industry ready Hi, how are you? Hi, Sanjay. Thank you. I'm doing well. Good to have you today. And uh, I'm very curious about the name Home Lane Interiors. How did you come up with the name? Oh well, you go about hunting for a lot of things for your home. You end up uh, reaching many lanes, and right. hence, you know, you know, this becomes one common destination which everyone should head to if right. at all they're looking at doing a thorough interior solution for their home, and hence. Homelane. So it's been roughly around eight to nine nine years, I guess. Yes, two thousand fourteen is when Homelane started. Right. So quite a journey you've had. We are in twenty two plus cities, and we have got about fifty plus experience centers set oh, up across yes. these cities. How has this nine years been? Because even in tech, I'm uh I w- happen to go through uh the product, the spacecraft, and everything. Right. Uh. read about home and homeland interiors and tried to understand what you are into somewhere i came to the conclusion that you're uh, relying on tech yes at the same yes. time design as well uh, so they, they both go hand in hand so over the past 9 years tech has undergone quite a bit quite quite a bit of transformation yes uh, yes i i think uh, that's the role of technology right just to help us uh, do better in lives Right. And that's what we have done at Homelane too. Um, see, the idea of uh, you know Homelane is to make sure that we we are able to uh, help our customers with uh, home interior solutions hmm. uh, without any kind of hassle. You know, we're not letting them run around places. It becomes a one-stop solution where we give them a complete picture of how uh, they would want their homes done, and all happening at uh, the click of a button. and they get complete transparent pricing and the exact number of days they are going to be getting their home delivered in so mm-hmm. all of this kind of makes it easy and in order to make sure that this is supported mm-hmm. we have taken the help of technology so while design see design is a very personal um, requirement yeah. you know everyone would uh, need to see the space in a different light in a different color use things differently so and especially as an initial design you know everyone has a different type of usage mm. so while we have designers there in our organization who are able to take care of that personalized requirement for each and every customer mm. we also need to make sure that we have technology which is able to support it and at the same time provide clear cut pricing and uh, i would say the right kind of execution timeline for our customers and that's what uh, technology has done 
So we started off in 2014, mm-hmm. and I think 2017 is when spacecraft was launched. Right. Um, when it was launched initially, it was just good enough to make quick layouts, mm-hmm. and uh, then be able to support uh, providing quotations seamlessly in a transparent fashion initially. Right. But today we have Spacecraft Pro, which is a lot advanced. Um, it it not just helps you in terms of creation of a quote once it sees it sees or receives a design, but it also makes sure that just at a click of button, it directly relays the entire thing to our manufacturing mm-hmm. setup. So which means it it's a complete end-to-end package, you know, in terms of what the customer sees is exactly what they are going to get. And that's that's what gets into our production as well. And it's an error-free um, mm. uh, solution, and and that's what we have been able to achieve through technology. You know, get getting something which is as complex as mm. a home interior design, getting it closer or inching it closer to an error-free solution. That's interesting, quite interesting. So now we're talking about version two. So I'm sort of intrigued and curious about the first version itself. Where you had that idea, okay, let's make something like this. You know, that was probably a response to a problem that you've identified in your area of uh, business or domain, right? So right. how was how was that like coming up with that idea and people adapting to that in initially? So how challenging was that? Um well, I, I think initially it's uh, it's the tool. I mean, the tool had less features to start with. Mm-hmm. But it was just allowing a designer to make sure that they're able to design on that platform. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and um, I mean, slowly we felt the need that it need to be made, uh, you know, it, it had to be more powerful as a tool. And it's not just restricted to design, but covers absolutely every aspect of it in terms of pricing, in terms of giving our customers a clear visualization of what they can see in the space in the house. And and automatically making sure that uh, you know it, uh, it goes into production, like I said, for an error-free situation. Now, it has grown over a period of time. You know, each of these features which we have added onto spacecraft. Um, so, yeah, um, that's uh, that's by and large what spacecraft does. Of course, there is more, and I mean, there are more features getting added on as we speak as well. The customer journey, if I'm able to understand, this happens, they they discover it online, right? Mm-hmm. They, the brand is online yeah. and they come across it. They fiddle around over the website and see what they want, give you the information. But the sale happens at your centers, right? The experience centers in cities. Yes. Right? So um, the reason for that being, I mean, of course, we are an online brand. Mm-hmm. Um, we could hold an online design consultation, which is what we did predominantly through COVID times. Mm. But um, what's very essential for home materials is the experience, or uh, you know, what is it they you know customers will always have the curiosity as what is it that I'm going to get at my place, mm. and that's why we have these experience setups, uh, setups which are done in all these cities, and these experience centers. It, it's not like it carries just one type of setting Mm. Mm. you know we have multiple arrangements of kitchen units bedrooms um living room setups so this is using essentially all those furniture products which has been conceived by us Mm. and fed us catalog into our own um, Mm. software right so you not just i mean while you will get to experience your design consultation through spacecraft pro which will be taken I mean, that, which, is, which is a journey any customer will go through with our designer. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in addition to that, they will need to see in physical reality. And that's why these experience centers have come up. So, and and most people do want to go and visit. So, which is why, while they come to us from, uh, I would say, well, through an online search, um, they eventually do come to our XP, at least have one walkthrough. And after that, these sessions, the design consultation session happens either online or at our showroom and and it continues for them. In fact, we have quite a few customers who are uh, who don't reside in India. Mm. And right. for them, we, we take them through a complete online session. 
so we have all the tools to make sure that you we can do your home uh, right. through an online session but these uh, i would say experience centers come in very handy to make sure that they get the right feel of the product right so this is more like uh literally walking into the brochure or a catalog that you have right so absolutely and feeling it absolutely it's 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 like trying to make them feel like you're walking into your own home yeah or how you can imagine your own space that's wonderful that's really amazing because whenever uh so i'm in hyderabad now and i visit ikea so they have these sets of interiors that they've already designed and put these furniture in place but somewhere i feel okay maybe this could have been the other way around you know so according to my preference so that's exactly what home lane is bringing at these experience centers yes so uh well i i i wouldn't say we try to bring in all the products in place mm. which which you use on on the home front which i care does because they have the privilege to do that yeah. we are a home interior company so we 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 of course do add uh mm. decor to our um, entire thing to make it you know look very home like but honestly speaking our experience centers are there to showcase what a ideal home interior design could uh, bring in or how it can add value mm. to your space um say for example i mean you're looking at more light in certain areas but mm. light doesn't reach that part mm. um you have uh, a mirror paneling happening on the opposite side of the wall and it reflects light to or, or it makes your room look larger you know these are things which you get to experience when you when yeah. you walk into a space right um and uh, that's what we help do right so we are selling ideas dreams and we are not selling products it's amazing and you promise 45 day turnaround time right yes so we do a 45 day turnaround time for uh, most of our customers mm-hmm. um uh, essentially when they are looking at modular furniture and hence we have a very curated catalog mm-hmm. uh in order to cater to a 45 day timeline um, you know in, especially in this kind of an industry we need to make sure that we have a curated catalog and uh, that's something which we have uh, on board spacecraft pro in fact our catalog is finite it's not like we have infinite op- uh, options yeah and all of these finite options are things which you get to see at our experience center touch feel exactly know what these materials are how it's going to look like and we build their homes using that you've mentioned finite the word finite right so here uh i'm reminded of a couple of things uh, yeah one your catalog is finite like you mentioned so i'm sure that you would have uh, spent quite a lot of time to understand what is required to be in the catalog and what is not required to be in the catalog yes okay i'll 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 give you a quick uh, yeah. thing on that so when i say finite mm. uh, i i'm not trying to limit someone in terms of how they dream the space mm. um rather i would say let me call it a smart catalog okay um uh, and uh, the reason i would rather call it a smart catalog is is because it's it's curated with what's relevant at that point of time mm. say for example if we see something trending Mm. in the industry and we know that this is what most of the people are going to go and for um we make sure that our catalog has that and uh, we try to restrict our entire i would say operations with a certain set of materials uh, mm. in terms of its usage how things uh, um, are going to be manufactured and all of this kind of helps us to stock inventorize these material and mm. thus be able to deliver faster to our customers mm. so while there are 10 laminate companies available for us which are of good grade and they can all have about 2000 laminates each in their collection mm. we try to make sure that we take the best of them mm. and we limit ourselves to just about 150 laminates this is just an example but this mm. 150 is going to be very relevant in terms of the trends which are going to happen in terms of the taste that uh, our customers going to have and it's very well reasonably adapted to how our country um, would want in different parts right and yeah uh, back of the mind i was thinking in different cities the requirement would be different because we have different cultures everywhere yes 
and and that's why we have experience setters uh, centers set up in different parts of the country and none of them are lookalikes oh. so you're going to have an absolute different experience whenever you walk into uh, a different uh, studio in a different city hmm. um, all the setups are something which are designed as per the inputs we we take from that region and we make sure that it is customized to that particular order um just as an example i mean you walk into mm-hmm. a mumbai experience studio mm-hmm. uh, which, which we just launched uh, recently um it would have a lot more of uh, i would say a lot more of customized work mm. along with bevel mirrors shimmery stuff high gloss patterns so which is what i would say um and you know most of mumbaiites would prefer mm. yeah in in contrary to i would say um, a, sh- a showroom in bangalore which is which is going to cater cater to a lot more i would say um, a contemporary a mix and dash of colors um, yeah. you know it's going to have some pastels mm. so it it's going to be a little more little more international in mm. that sense um so yeah i mean taste really when you go to different regions um you see a lot of bling when you go to the north and and yeah. come to the south you <laughs> you probably don't see yeah. a lot of bling but yeah but yeah we it's not like we completely avoid bling we make, we make sure that our catalog is smart <laughs> <laughs> i understand because i'm somebody who's from south but i've lived in north for almost 25 years i totally understand what you say here <laughs> yeah so well, this happens i mean um, and and it's great to know people great to know their choices and mm. um, you know work along and that's what the field of design makes um, mm. makes it very interesting right all of this just sort of underlines the fact that understanding your customer mm. is so important because yes. that is where that is who we are catering to and it changes from every state that for your business yes absolutely um user changes um user behavior changes and that's what is very important and that's uh, i would say one of the largest areas which we work on mm. trying to understand uh, what each of our users would want how they would want to use this space now say for example uh, we have a couple with two kids who mm. want to move into a two bhk you know we, we even try to get into the science of how is that second bedroom going to be used like Mm. and they have two kids so we mm. just don't go about saying that they have two kids we try to figure out what are the ages of the kids mm. are they a boy and a girl you know um, you know what's their age difference is one of them and then accordingly we we have multiple permutations and combinations which are going to help set up the room for them okay. um if kids are going to be of the same age are we going to put a study table inside the room because i'm sure they're not going to be studying there so mm. how it comes out into the common area you know the whole 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 home interior starts defining itself when you start bringing into user behavior right and uh, yes that's something which uh, we observe we find it interesting there are offbeat cases interesting cases which we get to see and but otherwise there is definitely a common pattern right can you please explain one of those uh, offbeat cases i'm a little curious about that <laughs> oh well okay so i i would say um A, a customer with uh, both set of parents mm-hmm. and the kids in a three BHK mm-hmm. and studying the user behavior is definitely offbeat. Um, so, mm-hmm. I mean, trying to understand that each one would have a different kind of uh, requirement from their own space, right? Uh, right. I mean, there's a puja unit required but it's not necessarily that the same puja unit is going to be preferred by the other person <laughs> yeah so so you you'll see different patterns it's like you know you want a lot more from the space then mm. and uh, how is it what is it that spills over to a common space what gets retain into your room mm. i mean these are the things which um, i would say are are offbeat and we <laughs> particularly need to take it away interesting the role of a designer here at home lane so it's quite crucial right uh we are at about 600 designers now um yeah. so i'll i'll tell you the reason why um in fact uh, earlier mm. we had a design partner program mm. um which means uh, none of the designers were actually a home lane employee 
Mm. Um, they were all working with us as freelancers mm. uh, who could directly, I would say, provide uh, active support to our customers uh, till the project is closed. Um, we realized that mode of working uh, was also creating a lot of, uh, um, I would say, errors. Mm. You know, a freelancer is not going to be as dedicated as your own employee, uh, yeah. is what we realized. Um, not to say that we didn't make great projects around that time. So we decided to make, uh, you know, onboard our entire design partners onto our platform. Mm. And, um, and and that's why we have about 600 designers who are all employees. And um, and now we, we automatically see that there's a lot more commitment. And, uh, you know, we observe that most of the projects are dealt with uh, close to a zero error margin. Mm. Um, now, what happens is, say, for example, you, you design has always been the heart of home. Right? Mm. Oh. Because it's home interior design, and uh, right. we can't do without design. Um, there would say the largest uh, wheel or the cog uh, hmm. of home. Um, now, when we had, I would say, a designer as a freelance or onboarded as a design partner program, um, say, for example, they have designed the whole project and uh, you know they decide to move on while the project gets into ex execution, we find there are some doubts which may require to see from the mm. designer and they're no longer there in the system. Yeah. It would automatically lead to confusions, execution yeah. problems. And uh, we have eliminated that now. And uh, mm. you know, that's that's how we have 600 designers on board. That's amazing. That's a huge number, actually. So what essentially, if we can just underline, what exactly does a designer do at home lane? Yeah. yeah. So, well, I would say um, that designer does a true job of what a designer should do. Um, let me come up with two aspects. Uh, okay. I'm a designer myself. And uh, okay. what is it that I would expect uh, being a designer mm -hmm. is when I design something, when I would want to bring forth a solution to a problem or a requirement, um, and when it gets made, when it gets used, um, properly and that gives a certain satisfaction to the end user right. I gain my satisfaction out of it right I mean that's that's my that's mm -hmm. my I would say um, end good feel mm -hmm. this is what I would say we have enabled as a platform for our designers our designers consult they make sure that um, they provide you the right solution in terms of colors in terms of the modules in terms of what kind of products need to get into your space mm. while they do that they they have they have an understanding of what kind of activities you would want to do in the space basis those activities they try to propose the right module for you um it's it's not it's not an ikea or it's not a product company you know where yeah. we say that go ahead just take a draw take a show rack right. and finish off your stuff we try to propose how that needs to evolve into your space mm. depending on the kind of activity you want to do. Mm. Are you the kind of person who would want to take off your slippers before you enter the house? Or would you want to come inside, take a seat, and then remove your shoes and put it in? I mean, that's I mean, you you see the product usage is going to be different in both these cases. Yeah. And and that's what we help people do. That's amazing. Uh very thoughtful and quite detailed actually. So the designer here needs to not only be good at the work, but understanding of uh, yes, business our, uh, overall. Absolutely. So yeah. uh, our designers do help us drive, uh, in, not just in terms of consult and do the right kind of project, um, but also make sure that uh, they you know support it right till the time it gets into an execution phase. Mm. Um, so yes, um, they are they are like uh, I would say uh, the spine of uh, mm. of Design is not something which uh, we often get to hear in India, but things are definitely changing. Yes, um, and um, I, I'm glad we are also one of them who are making the change happen. Absolutely, um, and uh, it's uh, we we were 
a country, um, I would say, which is far behind than the developed nations at a certain point of time. Hmm. But now I think we are we are really catching up. Absolutely. We are we are up there. We are ahead, and uh, we are trying to make the right moves. Uh, so yes, design is definitely making a huge impact. Definitely. So uh, in your journey, uh, let's say nine years of home lane interiors, I'm mm-hmm. sure you would have gone through your share of uh, slums and then come out of it. And then when you're trying to build a company, you're trying to manage people. Uh, that's another big aspect of running a company. So, uh, so like few things that you wish you had known earlier. Oh. <laughs> um I I would say um plan and move ahead. Mm-hmm. Um you know, I mean let's not be in a rush. Uh and that's what uh, we have tried to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have always tried to uh walk and not always run or fly. Mm-hmm. Um so yes, learnings have come, and that finite catalog is, uh, or the smart catalog is one of the <laughs> learnings which uh, uh, we have acquired. Uh, right. Rather than trying to uh, go about mm. and say we can do absolutely anything under the mm. sun, we could, you know, from from a design and build company perspective, yes, we can build anything. But mm. is that what we want to do, and mm. is that scalable? And is that error free? Is that finally going to make our customer satisfied? Hmm. Um, are the questions we asked ourselves? And these were the learnings uh, to make sure that we have a catalog which is very streamlined. Hmm. Uh, our partners uh, are very supportive. We make sure that, you know, uh, I mean, they are always supporting us in terms of making sure that we have our materials at the right time in the right place. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have. Um, um, I mean that's that's one of the learning, and also in terms of growth, um, I would say we we did expand um, to about uh, six cities very fast, and uh, we took a breather. We tried to correct ourselves to make sure that you know we get the right thing to the city. Mm. You know, it's not just about uh, growing without knowing. Yeah, uh, what is it that they want, or what yeah. is it our customers want? So. We took a step back, and then and then we started growing with the right kind of, uh, uh, I would say, thought process, uh, mm-hmm. making sure that each of the XP is tailor made. Each mm-hmm. of the XP has the right environment, um, and also making sure that those fine tunings are done with the spacecraft crew as well. Right. Uh, so we are able to serve right uh, to our customers. From here on, the homeland interiors. The when we look at the future. Right. So we've reached, uh, let's say, 20 plus cities and almost around 50 experience centers. Right. Uh, From here on, as the tech is evolving, uh, major things happened this year with AI and still evolving at a rapid pace. So where do you see Homelane, let's say, in the next couple of years, three years? Where I see Homelane in the next three years, I'm I'm definitely thinking that we are going to be evolving with uh, uh, how the technological field is growing. So when you said AI, uh, artificial intelligence, I mean one of uh, our favorite topics to you know, talk about yeah. is, um, like I said, you know, in our previous um, uh, you know, conversations, uh, I did mention that there is a kind of generalized school when mm. we try to identify the right kind of user profile mm. and the user behavior. So yes, we are trying to build an AI, uh, which is going to be uh, not on top of a generic platform, but will definitely get integrated with our catalog and what we offer at Spacecraft Pro. By and large, trying to make it one of um, one of the best tools, uh, which will not just allow you to uh, get your right home interior design, Right. Uh, at a fraction of a time mm. and uh, also make sure that you are able to visualize it a lot better. So yes, very soon we will be integrating it with uh, the way you start visualizing home materials. Uh, we're trying to create AR, uh, we're trying to bring in VR, augmented and virtual reality to uh, to at least showcase how uh, people can start visualizing or seeing their homes um, so that they have a better idea. And they are able to make those corrections 
in their space even before they see it. Right. So yes, home interior is going to evolve to a completely different level. And when I say with all of these tools, um, our designers and our customers should be able to do a lot better. And that's probably going to elevate interior design to a completely different uh, methodology and the way you see your homes. So Right. So I want to bring in a bit about, so the designers need to do better, yes, when the tech is evolving. So uh, what are your expectations from, let's say, designers who would want to, you know, sort of work in interior design companies who are graduating mm -hmm. now? So what are your expectations? What do you think they should be doing to be industry ready? It's very important that uh, as a designer, you you learn how to conceptualize and how to think for someone else mm. and you know and using the same industrial techniques which are going to happen from a manufacturing platform so you have knowledge about how it is going to get industrially manufactured mm. uh, at a factory um, but then you you also need to know uh, what the user requires i think a designer through their training and the, through their ability to speak converse um, observe, understand what the user requires um, is is very important, and that's where uh, conceptualization starts, and that's where creativity begins. That's where you're able to bring through everything and try to make sure that you put forth the right solution in front of them. Um, I think this is what is in, uh, important for every designer to understand what the user requires, mm -hmm. and then try to come up with a solution which. Uh, you know, the, it's going to be helpful for the user while it can be made using the current um, manufacturing technology. Thank you for sharing that. Before we close this episode, one final question to you, which again, just brought back uh, uh, something that I had observed in the past. Mm -hmm. So these uh, e-commerce giants had once uh, launched a campaign, run a campaign said which said or the cow. Right. Or the cow or the cow. I think it was Flipkart or Amazon. I don't remember correctly. But there it was more about options and things that we want to see, which is a general tendency of a human being when we go to shop anything. Like we want to see options. But yeah, that's there could be exceptions. There could be different types of people. But they had run that campaign. And I'm sort of trying to understand here, like we've already talked about having a finite or a smart catalog, like you say, right? Yeah. So, and that is also a result of your learnings, right? Like you mentioned. Yeah. Now, has it? have you ever felt that, okay, you've taken this decision of making this smart catalog mm -hmm. and have, have you as a team ever felt like, okay, should we have included that also into this? So I, I'm 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 going to start off with the last doubt which you put forth. Should we have included that as well? Right. We often face that, mm. right? And um, and certain cases, yes, we do correct ourselves and we do include that if required. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to make sure that a smart catalog only becomes smarter with time. Right. Um, but then the objective of this finite smart catalog uh, mm. is to make sure that you have a multitude of options within that. Hmm. You know the mix and match, the probabilities of it, bring, bringing it together, and and that's every time you do that, you get a different solution, you get a different look and feel. Uh, that's that's what allows it to still stay relevant. Hmm. Um, or the cow, or the cow. Let me also come to that uh, from a perspective. That's I mean these are products hmm. which you get to see online, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the only experience which you could probably have over there is looking at more styles of how this product is going to be hmm. in terms of its color variants or in terms of yeah, um, add-on, ho jata hai, wo add-on, ho jata hai, etc. Um, so yes, that is all the cow. We have that as well. I mean, in fact, our products are configurable. Hmm. Our products are systems in itself. So you can have I mean, using the same component of how we have designed things, it can start creating wonders. So it's not like we don't have that uh, thing of Amor uh, Nidhi Khasakur. Right. 
<laughs> that's very very well put uh i would like to thank you for uh joining the conversation it was a pleasure talking to you and a v- very important points that we've touched upon in this conversation keeping the design at the center and i absolutely admire conversations where design is at the core of it thank you thank you so much honestly it was lovely speaking to you and and yes design is something which is uh, what we live and breathe and uh, it it was fantastic talking to you about it thank you